So if you're watching and you're new to my channel, welcome. Definitely support me by subscribing, hit the like button. And yeah, I'd love to hear your comments below. I always love to hear what you guys think of the messages. All right, let's see. What messages does Spirit have for us today? What messages does Spirit have for us today for the Twin Flame collective? What is going on? Sending lots of love to all of you. And if you're new to my channel, I, ge I generally pull for the Divine Masculine, but sometimes messages for Divine Feminine come out too, so it just depends reading to reading. And if you're drawn to this reading, there are definitely messages for you. Look, I channeled while I was in my car this morning. If you wish upon a star, I'll insert it here. Okay, I'm hearing. When you wish upon a star Makes no difference who you are When you wish upon a star Your dreams come true So, if you've recently made a wish, whether this was subconsciously or consciously, whether this was to a star or not, uh, this song keeps popping in my head while I'm driving. It's like nonstop. So I'm feeling like, again, I keep getting this message like fairy tales coming to life. And it's all about the intention we set and what we manifest and what we believe to be true because you technically do have to believe it before you see it. So if you think in, in a way to where this is like deconstructing predictive programming and also everything else that's going on right now in the world and in the media, yes, we do have an effect and yes, we are energetic bodies and yes, our minds do hold a lot of power. So if you can imagine really positive things right now, collective, imagine really positive things right now for our planet. Send out that loving energy from your solar plexus out to the entire world. There's so much of an effect that we can have right now, whether you're doing it together or whether you're doing it at different times, it really doesn't matter. One person has such a strong effect on this planet. One person can literally change this world. And so recognize the power that you hold, understand it, harness it, and then reflect it out. And imagine, imagine the best possibilities coming true because literally you can create it. I'm telling you, like this is a message that's coming through right now. So I love you all so much. I hope this message resonated. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. Give this a like, share it out to everyone. Love you. We have 144 right now on my clock. 144. If you wish upon a star. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, someone sees you as their like hope, like their wish their wishes like all their wishes come true you are this yeah this person is working towards you this divine masculine and they're feeling like you've put an end to the connection they're feeling this energy right now or you've stopped nurturing the connection or you've stopped I would say stopped nurturing their bad behavior like their negligent behavior or their uh, toxic come in come out behavior their ghosting their breadcrumbing all of that shit so that's what I'm getting here Let's see what else we get. Spirit, what else do we got going on? Okay, someone's feeling really sad because of this. Also, someone's really not happy with the work that they're doing right now. It's like, it's not satisfying them. It's just, it's not. So let's see, what can we get for advice here? Oh, what came out under the star? They're feeling defeated also with you. They're feeling defeated with you. This is you. Divine Feminines, this is you in the reverse, the nurturing, loving, light giver, light bringer. You, I mean, technically you are like this person's North Star. You are this and they're feeling like negligence from you. And this is causing them to feel a lot of inner conflict, a lot of like defeated energy. But like this is necessary for this person to find their own inner light. And not only that, not as cheesy as it sounds, but... They have a lot to transmute. I mean, they have a lot of self-realization they still have to do as well. So, I mean, we both are helping each other to see the other side of the mirror is what I'm hearing. The adventure. Some sort of, like, adventure they want to take with you. They're very empathic. 
They may have told you this before, you might just pick up on it. They're very empathic, They're like very emotional, um, very sensitive, okay? That's why they're feeling defeated right now because everything that, whether you do or don't do, they pick up on. We have the mover and competition. It's like they want to move towards you. They want to go on this adventure with you. Look at this. They want to do all these things, but they're feeling defeated. They're feeling like inner conflict. They're feeling unsure because of your energy that they're picking up on right now towards them that you're feeling, that you have every right to feel, okay? Let's see what else we get. Can I get any more about this adventure? I heard Disneyland, and what else am I hearing? Kentucky? Kentucky border? I, okay, what else? The leader, okay, what else? I heard Ontario. Okay, we got a lot flying out while I'm channeling. Anxiety bottom of the deck. Their overall feeling right now is anxiety, just like the rest of the world, but you also have the power to transmute this, and I think I talk about it in that first channeling with the star that I posted. Um, but this is kind of a good thing. It's kind of like, it's like, you know how the core swished, 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 it swished in the inside of the earth, it switched, and, and that's kind of like what's happened to all of us, and we're like having to see a different perspective of things, whether things on the outside look like it or not. Everything is necessary for a transformation, okay? And that's what's happening in this person's inner world. It's like they're finally coming to terms with the realization of what they had and what they're missing out on. All the things that you did for this person, like they're seeing like the self-sacrifice, they're seeing like what you did for this person. All this loving energy that you brought in, this basically angelic energy, like you were an angel for this person, okay? And they may have like felt this way for you as well, but it's like you both have things you had to work through. And I feel like you've done a lot of the work, Divine Feminines. Yeah, and that's why your sun is coming. That's why your happiness is coming. That's why your clarity, that's why you're clear seeing. Like you're seeing stuff and they aren't. It's like you switched positions. Like you are now the sun and they are now the moon. And both are beautiful light sources. But like one is more illusory. One's not able to see as clearly, okay? And maybe this was kind of the position from the get-go. Sometimes it does work where the divine feminines do wake up before the divine masculines. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not a competition at all. It's not a race. But maybe that's kind of like how you both entered this relationship. So take it how it resonates though. It could of course been your person first as well. And it, it doesn't, like I said, doesn't matter either way, but at the same time it kind of does because one of you acts more as like a leading light, as like a solar energy for the other, okay? To like see things. And you guys could switch these roles as well. I mean, the energies are quite fluid and, and you both help each other to realize and see things. Okay, so what else am I getting here? We have love. Okay, with this love card, ooh, these are the things you're going to have to let go of or they may have to let go of attached to this love because love is unconditional. Okay, so you're letting go of perfectionism. That's something that you're going to have to overcome or they're going to have to overcome. And also this sense of like victoriousness or winning, winning the relationship. You know, like there's nothing to win. Like... <laughs> There's love to gain, of course, but there's nothing to, it's not like a race. It's not like a, a competition. It's not a game. Maybe this person kind of views it as a game or has in the past, but now they're like seeing the true love. I, I'm seeing like they're realizing and seeing perhaps for the very first time, true love and what that is and what that means. And they're like, whoa, this is a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> Despite all that's going on in the world right now, this right here, these realizations that they're having is like, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, like that. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. It's like they're feeling possessive as well over you because they, they know ultimately what you represent, what you are, and not even what you represent, but what you are to them for them. I, I can't word this right. You guys get what I'm saying though. You are the whole package. Okay. So this person, 
this divine, these divine masculines that I'm tapping into, they really want to protect you at all costs. But at the same time, they have to let go of that possessive energy, which is why protection's in the reverse. Okay, so they they have to let go of the possessiveness. Okay, I'm gonna keep this up at the front here with the transformation or transmutation card because I really do feel like it, it. And it's like they've had to find some things that they love within themselves, and maybe they've been neglecting this too. Yeah, because they're like over analyzing indecision. It's like. There's this indecision that's there and they're constantly replaying it in their minds and like overanalyzing it, okay? With And that's attached to this romance. And then right below that, this is the truth, okay? So justice is the fact that they're realizing it for themselves and that truth is hitting pretty hard right now. That they know there's a decision, that there's something that they're reevaluating because they're feeling unsuccessful right now. And not that like... It's going to be different person to person. Like, what does that mean? It's like they're they're lacking the sense of fun, adventure, lightheartedness, you know, love. And, and they're not trained. Divine emphasis from spirit. If you're new to my channel and the train horn goes, it's like really a divine emphasis from spirit. can also represent like they're seeing time shifting, like in between different timelines and parallels. That message has been coming through a lot. And I always get like time travel train for that train. But I'm getting like... Now I lost my train of thought. That could be happening a lot. You could be losing your train of thought. Deja vu moments. Like, whoa. Like, And, and there's a lot of ascension happening at this time, too. Um, so let's see what else. They're realizing things. Ugh, they've realized this a few times, okay? And then they've forgotten it. And then they realize it again. And then they forget it. And that's when these, like, patterns start to creep back in. And that's when they catch them. But it's good because they're learning how to conquer the habits, is what I'm hearing. They're learning how to conquer the habits, their habits. Why can't I talk? Okay, let's see. They're like, why can't I talk to them? That's why. They're like, why can't I just talk to them? Like, why? Why can't you? Divine masculines. Too realistic. They're afraid of what the world would think. And they're, at the same time, they know they can. They know they could do this. They, they know that they could deep within. Because they see the duality of their own decisions, of their own choices, of their own habits, of like where these roads have led them. And they know because they have the power to make those initial choices that they have the power to make the choice now. This is so deep. It's, it's, what time is it? It showed me 1040 on my clock, 108, 1008, 808 has been a message. And also it's actually showing eight, eight, 11 or 12 or 13, eight, 11, 12 or 13. So if you add those numbers or you've been seeing any of those numbers, lots of sixes and sevens lately too. And that adds to a 13, which they're showing me on the clock right now. There's a significance with the number 13, you guys. And number sixes and sevens. Also the number nine. We keep seeing 22. 22, 22, and 23. Yeah, lots to do with 23 recently. And 2, 3, 4 right now they're showing me. Indecision. 12, 23 just now on my clock. I can't make it up. 1, 2, 2, 3. Okay. Easy as 1, 2, 3. That's how it would be. A, B, C, one, two, three, just you and me. And, and <laughs> that was terrible. But um, indecision here. This is like, it's like this, this infinite loop of indecision. And they understand that. That's the thing. Like, they understand it. Is this an eight, two? Yeah, we have 88. We have 88. 88. So two very vast souls. Obviously, all our souls are vast, but it's like this this union together is very profound. It's very mm, deep. It's deep. Like it's deeper than under the ocean deep. <laughs> like I don't I, uh, I I try to put things into words and it just doesn't you know, I can only go so far with my words, but hopefully the frequencies that I am M&M's, Mary Magdalene, <laughs> emanating, hopefully the frequencies are helping you to realize what I'm trying to 
convey. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah, there's just so much sorrow that they're wanting. So 1351 now on my clock, but they showed me 1551. There's a 66 again, a 33, 33. That's four threes. That's a balance of strength and wisdom coming in for them, okay? And we have an eight on my bottle here, my water bottle. If you look, that looks like the infinity symbol, right? Or a snake or an eight. I think you, Divine Feminines, are realizing a lot about this connection as well, and it's teaching you a lot, and it's, like, hard to face. Yeah. It brings a lot of sadness up that you're not, yeah. And that uh, some of these energies, some of these memories even, too, are kind of, like, devilish in nature. In a way, too, they're pretty, they think they're slick, but, like, you catch these as well. So just keep trusting you. Keep trusting your intuition here. Yeah, rite of passage and a six, six of wings, 1444 just now on my clock. Part of the 144,000, of course, this is going to be a huge rite of passage for everyone watching, everyone involved. Yeah, coming out of sorrow. And what's going to suck? What's going to, what is this? Opportunity of generosity, 66 again, six of gems, six of wings, 66, 33, 33. They're reiterating this. What are they saying here? There's an opportunity coming in. It might be kind of sneaky. There could have been a, a sneaky opportunity, like trying to get you off your path, trying to take you down, trying to bring you down, but you already know. Um, it's nothing new actually to you either. Like you've you've gone through this before. There's someone to take trying to take you away from your divine path and your divine partner. Okay, take it how you will though. If that doesn't resonate, just let that go, okay? Romantic in the reverse. Why is romantic in the reverse, please? It's a challenge. Okay, it's a challenge. Um, this person is really challenging you. Lovers. Yeah, it's like there's someone trying to get in the way. There's an energy trying to get in the way here, but you will ultimately know what this is. This could be even an archon energy. It, it, it might not even be of this earth. Okay, and of course there are forces at play to try to keep the twin flames from uniting. And a lot of fears go into that. Like, put like the CIA takes frequencies and puts them into your head. <laughs> like not even kidding you. The devil also does this. Archonic energies do this, but you are very strong. So you can override this, notice it, identify it and overcome it. We have six, six, six. We have six with the lovers, six with the six of gems and six with the six of wings, six, six, six. Um, also could reverse to a nine, nine, nine. So I've been seeing a lot of those numbers. I actually saw them this morning too. So yeah, have patience though. Be patient with yourself. Work on overcoming your bad habits and your indecisive energies. The more you can conquer these, the more it's going to help to progress the both of you and in and a, and a lot of ways romantically. Okay, you may not believe this, but it will. Like you're coming out of traditional perspectives, ways of thinking, being, and you're overcoming a lot of stress right now. You both are. Let's see what else we get. Frustration, yeah, I'm hearing so, right of, as soon as this card flew out, and I'm just gonna say it, I heard someone cheated, like someone cheated, and, and there's a lot of frustration around that energy. Okay, this could have been the both of you, this could have been them. I'm getting there's a lot of passion here with this connection, but there's a lack of trust now. Okay, so take it how you will, it's not gonna be for all of you here. Okay. There is success coming there. Like you're going to overcome this difficulty. Okay. Whatever it is, you're going to overcome it. Let's see what else. Celebrations coming. Yeah. Trust, trust the signals. Like trust the intuitive hits. If you feel something's off, it's because something's off. Trust it. Okay. Yeah. Disappointment. So someone, I'm getting like two separate messages here. Like there's a group where some of you are going through this now with the deception and like the cheaty, sneaky, sly, knock you off your path kind of energy. And then there's a group of you that are really just trying to transmute all the energies that play on the earth right now and get to union. And you're, you're like really coming into your own. Okay. I, I think you all are really coming into your own, but see how... Just take it how you will, like the beginning message and then this message. It's like two distinct groups is what I'm picking up, okay? 
you're not being cheated on over here, but you guys are over here or you're the cheaters. Okay, so take it how you will, okay? This is all teaching me lessons though, right? This is why we're here to learn lessons. Let's see what else we get. At the forefront of it all is the magician, the man behind the curtain, <laughs> controlling it all, which is you. So really take note of the energies that you're putting out, okay? Work on transmuting more, work on working with solar energies if you can, if you can. Um, you can also, if there is no sun outside, you can still channel the solar energy into your solar plexus and work on rotating that through your energetic body all the way through is like a cleanse and a conductor. They're saying a conductor to transmute anything lower vibrational. You're very powerful. You, you all know that you can do this. Yeah, trust your intuition at this time. It's very important. It's very important. But don't get in your mind where you're like overanalyzing yourself, okay? Yeah, the romantic is here. There's definitely someone here, though, that really wants to be with you. So be aware, though, of like sneaky conniving energies and be aware of the truth that's being shown to you. This person may have even told you the truth. Like, listen, okay? Yeah, truth. Oh, my God, as I said that. Truth. Okay, so listen to it. Listen to it. Yeah, opposition and tower, yeah. So you might have to tear something down. You might have to tear something down, like rebuild. Have the courage to come out of shit. That's the message. Take back your power, take back your courage. You're doing really good though. Whoever's watching, like don't feel discouraged because you are doing it. And yeah, this person's gonna fall flat on their face for doing whatever the hell they did to you. And it's sad really, because what, all they're doing is creating their own karma, right? But you can't be feeling guilty about that either because it's up to the, we all have free will, okay? So yeah, there is someone that wants to, there's a good person here that wants to build something with you, okay? Keep some of your shit private with people that you don't trust, okay, obviously. Um, yeah, possessiveness here. Possessiveness. Someone's really possessive. So you're going to have to, like, notate that and then, like, reevaluate and form a new plan, okay? Some of you. Um, let's see a group a message for this group over here. Privacy, yeah. Someone does want to build with something with you, but they're not telling you, or you can sense it and feel it. I don't understand why people hide things from people that are aware, like psychically, because you sense it all. You sense it all. You feel it all. Divine feminines. I just flew out. You see it all. 2212 on my clock. You see it all. You see it for what it is. Okay, let's get um, some messages of what they're thinking but not necessarily communicating to you at this time. I just heard Swan Lake. Swan Lake? Is there a lake called Swan Lake somewhere? <laughs> Could be symbolic as well, Swan Lake. This is so weird. I... I split the deck on I keep daydreaming about you. 2304 right now on my clock. I keep dreaming about you in the reverse, but I kept hearing I keep deprogramming you. What? It's like, okay, two messages. It could be this person is like really wanting to get you out of their mind and like let you go because it's too much, it's too overwhelming. I'm also getting like someone else, like that other message, like someone's coming in trying to get you off your path. Trying to like degrade you in a sense okay or deprogram you not in a way to where they're trying to wake you up but in a way to where they're trying to have you believe false things about yourself but you see it all the train yeah you see it all like your spirit guides are gonna highlight where all these things are occurring okay so you don't need to worry because you already know and if you don't 
it'll soon come to light. I have a hard time opening up to you. Our connection is magical. I know I owe you an apology. I hear the divine feminine is going damn straight. <laughs> damn straight, you do. Okay, let's see. Oh, what just flew on the floor? Let's see here. I'm content in my current situation, but I am not happy. And that's not good either. They have not opened up to you very much. They had in the beginning. But recently, they're not telling you too much because they're very protective of their fragile state, which they hold very high in regards to them, is what they're saying. Yeah, leave me alone right now. It's like they're afraid of you. It, it's like they're an endangered species or they view themselves in an, as an endangered species and you're like the bad guy. But ultimately, it's like they only want you. They only want you as like, you're not the bad guy, but they, they, it's not even them that really like thinks that way. It's like they're protective. Like, what do they call it? I wouldn't say it may be ego, but it, it's more like their survival instincts are like, keep kicking in and like repelling them away from you. Even though like, ultimately they only want you. <laughs> they're doing shadow work. That's good. Let's see. I can only use that as, as an excuse for so long, though. <laughs> they wish things were simpler. They've been watching your social media. Pay attention to the red flags. I love you in the reverse. Why is I love you in the reverse, spirit? I know which card's going to come out. Why is I love you in the reverse, spirit? Soul connection. This is a connection between souls that recognize each other from a past life. Why does I love you in the reverse? Intense connection. It's too much. It's too much for this person. It's a deep connection and triggers keep arising and they caught the patterns. They caught the patterns and they they caught the patterns and they labeled it as karmic. But it wasn't. It was a trigger. It was triggers, triggers, triggers in order for them to go within and heal divinely. So now they're still stuck doing the shadow work, right? This love has ascended, though. There's like a new meaning, a new title to it. Yeah, they're like, I can't do this anymore. I surrender. I can't, I can't do this. It's too much. It's too intense. Fear and anxiety are interfering here. And insecurity. They're very insecure. Very insecure, and you might not think this at all. You might be like, so like, no, they're not. They really are, though. It sucks, like, because you sense it, but you refuse to believe it. Um, they're struggling with limiting thoughts and feelings, and I, I feel like you've done a lot for this person, but you can only do so much. They have to look at themselves, and they have to fix this for themselves, okay? They only want you. That is the fucking truth, okay? There is no desire to be with anyone other than you. So, but you have to protect yourself at the same time. Like, if they keep doing all this bullshit and nothing's changing, then it is karmic. Then it is, because it's like they're not willing to see things as they are. And if they do see them, they're not willing to fix and change them. So then there's your answer. So keep, stop keep like punishing yourself it's not you it's them they need to work through of all these things that i listed here okay so this is what they're currently doing is what they're saying like i'm currently like i'm seeing how fucking insecure i am i don't like it i can't do this because the connection is so freaking intense and they might be in a situation where they feel like they can't actually pursue you okay whether this is relationship or work related, okay? So,
I love you both. Okay, this person's with someone. And I was getting that too. I was getting like this person's with someone or they have someone else in mind. And it's like really silly though because it's like they know they only want you. It's silliness. There is no desire to be with anyone but you. But it's a love triangle because they're not able to make a decision. Even though they know the connection is super magical. It's like they know they owe you, owe you an apology about this. Like there's so much like on them right now. And I'm like really overwhelmed just picking up on what they're feeling themselves. It's like, oh, I do not want to go down this route. Like, ooh. So like, you know, whatever you're going through that feels painful. It's like they're going through it too. Mask off. Like the mask has to come off here, right? The true self is being projected to the outside world. What am I getting for this? This is under the apology. Crossroads. Like they, okay. Yeah, they know which what choices they have okay so they're torn between more than one path obviously but their mask is off now and they know it they're feeling that's why they're so insecure because they know you see it all they they know you sense it they know you feel it they're like panicked at this moment it's like someone uh, like this is such a stupid example and but it'll make sense. Okay, so Divine Feminine is like when you wear makeup, okay? And say like you only met this person like when you have a full face of makeup on. And then it's like it rains outside and all your makeup's washed off. And this person seeing you for the first time vulnerable without the appearance that they like rely to like project onto you or to perceive you as. So it's like that's what's happened to them. Except it's internal and it's being projected outward. And they don't like that because they know their insecurities are showing. They know everything internally that they're vulnerable about or insecure about is showing and being projected to you right now. So they don't like that. I don't blame them. Um, but they're working through this. And they know they have a decision to make. They know. Like, they know you see that too. They do want you to focus on yourself right now. Uh, practice self-care and redirect your energy to yourself. But at the same time, it's like, okay, this is that push-pull energy. They push you away and they're like, focus on yourself. But then they're like, wait, I need more. What worked in the past is no longer working for me. It's like they, they need that adrenaline rush. They need that light. They need that, that focus. Yeah. So, yeah. And then it's like they try to put their mask back on, but they know it's not working. They know it's flawed. They know it's cracked. They know you see through it. And so, like, they know that you see that they miss you. And they want so badly to hide this from you. And this is why they go through like this no communication, no contact, because they don't know how to act. So look here. Cut off. Too much drama. Engagement, marriage. They could be married. They could be engaged. They could be having a girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever the case may be. Whatever the situation is. Okay. Someone here is cut off because they were just like too overwhelmed. There's too much drama for them. But like really like who's creating it? Who's creating it? And it's like they're grateful for you, but they keep running. And, and this is what's creating that karmic loop. It's because they refuse to make the decision. And, and they're, nothing's going to happen if they can't make the decision. And it's really frustrating, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because like we know that. We see that. What's going to happen now? What do we do now about this? Okay, spirit. Yeah, I can't do this. Like, they're so nervous. Let's see. Further clarity. I wish I could share my good news with you. There's something they want to share with you. And it falls right underneath our connection is so magical in the reverse. And I know you, I owe you an apology. I wish I could share my good news with you. The timing just wasn't right for us. That's why they couldn't fully open up at that time. I want to tell you how I feel and I did you see how those cards came out too like that's what I was getting here which is why I paused because I'm like dude like I, I know this person like wants to tell you how they feel and that's the card that just flipped up 
So like, I know I owe you an apology. I want to tell you how I feel. I regret lying to you. We will be together again. So that's what I'm getting from the messages. I look everywhere for you just popped out. Those are the messages. If you wanted a more in-tune reading for specifically you and your person, my readings are always accurate. And that is not my ego talking. That is like I've done hundreds of readings and they're always on point. Like I even, I even predicted someone's twin and hers location. Like it was crazy. Like, uh, like what? It kept popping in my head throughout a reading. And then she wrote me and she's like, oh, that's where me and my twin live. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay. But yeah, if you wanted something more tuned in directly for you and your person, and you're just really needing clarity and answers and like what they're feeling and going through. I'm very good at channeling their energy and I know I can get answers for you. So all my readings right now are going to be listed in my comments, pinned in the comments and also um, down in the description box below. Meditations on there. Um, my union meditation, I highly recommend. Twin Flame Union. That one's like really, really potent and strong. And it's worked for a few of my friends. I view you all as my friends. So I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.